Okay, so I just wanted to share on what I would do if I was in a very sort of no noisy, chaotic environment or a very stressful or difficult environment, and also if I had a lot of intense thoughts. Um, I'd probably do something um, like, let's say I've got a lot of thoughts going through my head. I'm being, you know, there's lots of drilling and noises everywhere, uh, and it's very sort of stressful. Um, the thing I would do then would be, one of the things I realized when doing um, spiritual practice, especially the observer, is that noise, I can, I can be the observer of noise. And if I just focus on the observer practice, what's observing noise? I mean, first you're doing the observer on thoughts and noise, but actually what is it that observes noise? Is there a witnesser of noise? And, is there a and if there is, as soon as you become the witnesser of noise, you'll find that noise and, and triggers and things become, uh, they, they, hit, they hit you less because you're less in the limited self. And then you just keep taking it back. But is there an observer of this interested observer of noise? And is there, and it's like going back. Remember St. Francis' famous quote is, what you're looking for is where you're looking from. So as you go deeper and deeper into the observer, an observer which has no interest in in noise, no interest in the world, no interest in anything that happens within your thoughts. So it's almost like you're going backwards into, into silence. Um, you start to access this infinite uh, place within you, which is immune to noise and sounds and disturbing things. So that would be the thing I would do. Um, also know that, that, you know, even if let's say you feel identified with the body and thoughts and you're being stressed out and there's lots of uh, negative thoughts going on, lots of disturbing noises and things going on. Know that there is also an observer of everything that's happening. There's an observer of you. There's an observer of everything that's going on in the house, in the room, with other people. There is an observer present, which is not hooked in or identified to you, to the room, to anything that's going on. And, and uh, that observer is available. So um, just knowing that and trying to get to this deep observing uh, can sometimes help you and can pray for a miracle to get to those uh, places of freedom that are available. Okay, I'm going to...